Here's a short bonus video. So today I'm in desperate need of some chocolate. So I'm going to show you how I make my favorite homemade fudgesicles. Okay, for the ingredients, we need a cup of cocoa powder and a cup of sugar. And as you can see, I like to make my cocoa powder from a blend of these two. We need half a teaspoon of vanilla, an eighth of a teaspoon salt, and two tablespoons of cornstarch. So you want to mix all of the dry ingredients in the pot. It's all pretty much mixed up. And then you add just enough milk to make a paste. And you know what? The last time I made these, I screwed it up. I poured all the milk in. So if you screwed up like I did, don't worry about it. It worked out just fine and they were very tasty. Now let's see if I got enough milk in here to make a paste. Maybe I have too much milk, which would probably not be surprising. I always find the cocoa powder gets a little ornery to stir in when you don't have a, a lot of liquid. Once you've got your, your milk mixed in and just paste-like, add the rest of the milk. And I did turn on the burner. Pretty much want to keep stirring this mostly continuously. And once it's come to a low boil, which I'll show you when we get there, then you turn off the heat. So I will stir and you hang out. You want to get it till there's small bubbles along the edge, like that. And then you're gonna give this about two more minutes to cook. Okay, so one thing my husband will always tell you is I'm a really good cook, but I am really messy. And so there is no way in Hades I would attempt to pour the liquid from the pot into the molds. So I'm going to give that a minute or two to cool because I'm sure you can see all that nice steam. I will wash this pan and then I will fill my containers. So it's not quite so hot. And I do fill these up pretty full. And a couple of variations if you want to try them is a few drops of peppermint extract. And when I say a few drops, peppermint extract is extremely um, potent. So you definitely don't want too, too much, like four or five drops maybe. And, and then I would taste it before I would add any more. Um, I just washed the coffee pot, which I'm not a coffee person, but I bet you, you could add in some espresso powder if you wanted to kind of make it a little bit more, I don't know what you'd call it, but if you like that flavor, you know, you can experiment. It's chocolate. You could, oh my, I'm making a mess. See, told you. So you could actually add in, I think there's, you know, you could put in some raspberry flavoring or what, orange would be super yummy, especially when I have fall coming up. Uh oh, that one's really full. So we're going to put the lid on these, put the sticks in, and they will be ready after dinner. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you guys make some of these. They're delicious. As you can see, these are ready for the freezer and... I'm ready for them to be frozen. Find this recipe and more at FadingMemoriesPodcast.com.